Everybody okay? Take questions for Jermaine. Well, Jermaine, I mean, just getting ready for the regular season finale and, and last home game here. I mean, just, just talk about your feelings heading in. You know, obviously, it's you know, it's my last game. Um, it's my last regular season game here as a as a senior in Youngstown State. You know, it's been a long four years, and I, just, I definitely just want to finish out strong along with my teammates. Have you guys looked at you know playoff possibilities and where you stand and, and talk about things like that if you win? Yes, but you know something our coaches have. I mean, I've stressed to us is just you know we gotta just focus on being one now this week, and if everything um, if we have some good fortune here, then you know we'll end up in the playoffs. But um, you know, basically, we're just, we're just, our coaches are just trusting us to just uh, win the week and go one and zero and beat Indiana State. You made a little similar situation to last year. Uh, a little situation, maybe a little bit differently, but you need a win in the final game for any chance. Uh, do you go back to last year and think about that at all, and what could have been, and, and compare it to this year? <clears throat> yes, you know, that kind of goes back to my last answer. Is just um, like I said, uh, you know, last year I think we started overlooking, you know, our last opponent. And this year, you know, we're definitely not going to do that. Our coaches are going to make sure we're not going to do that. And as players, we're going to hold each other accountable and make sure that we don't do that. Indiana State's defense got probably the second best in the conference. Maybe you can talk about. Yeah, you know, that's something that um, our coaches just stressed was yesterday. There, I believe they're top five in the nation, or, or, or something like that. Um, and, you know, so that's going to be a test for our offense. But you know, as I've said in other in other interviews, um. I think our offense is confident that we can that we can uh, do what we do against anyone we play. You you won't play against Shakir, but do you compare yourself to him? Is a competition between you two? Uh, uh, no, I wouldn't necessarily. Do that. I'm just. I mean, I think he's out there trying to do everything that he's trying to help his team win, and I'm trying to do everything that I can help my team do win. And uh, at the end of the day, um, it's a team game, and you know those individual goals are, are, you know, they're they're good at the end of the day. But I think I think wins and and that is more important than individual goals. Personally, how, much has, go ahead, go ahead. how much has the uh, the increased um, stress on the running game the last couple of weeks prepared you to face what Indiana State does defensively? You know, um, that's actually a hard question, but um, I think I think it is. I think it's prepared us, but you know, I think it's um, it's definitely. Showed the depth that we have at running back because you know I haven't been able to carry the whole load as much as running the ball. So you know our other backs are getting a chance to show what they can do, and I think that'll show this week. And if we get a chance to playoffs, that'll show there also. I mean, have you thought about you know walking up that tunnel for the final time before the game starts uh, at all? Uh, yes, you know, yes, I've thought about it, and uh, I actually have been trying to think about it because I don't want to get too emotional. But you know, I've had a long journey here, you know, at Youngstown State, and I've and I've, and I've been. Uh, very productive, and you know to think that that you know it's it's coming to the end of my four years here is, is just it's kind of heartbreaking because I love this place. You know this place has been great to me, whole organization. And, you know, and it's just it's just I just love it here at YSU and this university. So yes, you know I've thought about it, but you know I'm really not going to try and think about it until it's time for me to walk up that tunnel for the final time. Does it put more pressure on you on to perform Saturday with everything that's on the line if you guys can win? Yes and no, and the reason I say that is because at the end of the day, you know, I'm, I'm going to try and go out there and do what, you know, we're going to try and go out there and do what we've done every game, which is try and make plays and try to get a W and, and do everything possible that we can to come on, I mean, to come out on top Saturday. How's your body feel? Better than this point last year? Mm, <laughs> you know, I'm always beat up. <laughs> you know, you know, I'm always beat up, but, you know, I feel good and I'm ready to go, you know, and I think, and I think that, you know, going into this game, there's going to be a lot of emotion going towards it because for us seniors, it could be some, it, it could possibly be our last game. So we're going to definitely go out there and lay up, I mean, lay everything on the line despite how our bodies are feeling. Does it help being at home with everything that you guys know that you need to do and not having to worry about going on the road and playing your last game? Do you think with the emotion, the adrenaline, that's going to help you? Yes, definitely. I think it's going to help. Um, you know, the whole team and our because our fans are great. You know, and they and they've been here supporting us through thick and thin. So obviously, when you have um, the fans behind us like that, and, and and being and having that home crowd, that definitely helps your chance of winning a lot with momentum swings and, and just the whole environment in the football game. How close do you think you are to being more like the football team that you were in September than the one you were in October? I think I think we're very I think we're very close, but yet you know something that our coaches are still saying to us is that 
we still haven't came out and played a full game where we need to these last couple of weeks, and that's something we need to put together this week to come out on top. <clears throat> we have to we have to put together a full game. Not that you've watched Shakir, but are you, are you guys similar or different in your running? Um, I would I would say I would say we're a little different because I'm more of a um, power slash so balance back, and I'd say he's more of like a, a a speed guy. You know what I'm saying? So I would say we're different there. Where I'd say he's, he's definitely faster than me, but. You know, we're both very productive for our teams. <laughs> you know, a win's a win, obviously, but do you feel like you have to have a, a dominating performance against them to kind of... No, I just, I just I just, feel like we have to come out and do what we're coached to do. And if, every, and if, and if all 11 guys on both sides of the ball come out and do what we're coached to do, we'll come out with a win.